Hello, my name is Alvaro Fernandez and I will be presenting chapter 10 and chapter 11 of the casebook which is uh, management accounting. Chapter 10 talks about budgeting for planning and chapter 11 talks about uh, financial control. In addition to presenting the topics that these chapters talk about, uh, I am going to relate those topics to the public company that I selected for my course, which was Amazon.com. Let's start with budgeting for planning. Budgeting is a tool and a process that every company should apply in their activity. Why? Because it's basically the strategy that every company has to craft and then implement in order to achieve their goals and their 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 objectives. With plan with in budgeting, what companies do is uh, allocate the resources and to know when these resources will have to be allocated in order to achieve those goals and those objectives that were set before. Usually budgeting is in a given period. Um, the period that many companies use is a year in which in the short term companies will have to achieve different plans and in the long term these plans have to these plans have to be aligned in order to achieve the the strategy as a whole so we know that in budgeting there are two kinds of budgeting we know about operating budgeting which talks about the activities that the company has to perform in order to achieve those objectives and then we have the financial budgeting which talks about the financial consequences or the economic co the economical consequences of carrying out these activities when i talk about activities is for example sales uh, hiring new people for a new project or for example implementing a marketing strategy in order to to make bigger the image and the recognition of the company in a certain segment or target. So these are the these are the activities. And when I talk about financial budgeting, I'll, I'll, I'll start talking about, for example, cash flows, which is one of the most important points of the of the financial budgeting, because the cash flow will will tell you which are your cash inflows inflows and your cash outflows and it will tell you the liquidity of the company and the actual money and actually the real money that you have that is available right away to be invested or to be used um, in order to buy new machinery or to hire more people or to find a new distribution center so how budgeting works for for Amazon. Amazon is a really big company and it has um, and it has many business units. But I'm gonna talk just about one of them in order to explain the budget, how the budgeting works in this company. I am going to talk about the fulfillment. The fulfillment is the option that Amazon gives to people to start offering their products in their platform. People are very interested to start selling their products in, in this platform because they know that the traffic and the people and the target is huge. The traffic of, of, of Amazon could be the biggest in the world. So if you start selling a product in Amazon, the probability of selling this product will be very high. And the period of time that you're that you're gonna spend selling selling this product is very short, so it is it is very motivating for the for people to start selling products in there. But uh, this is something that that has to be budgeted by Amazon because in case many people start offering their products in in the platform, since these products have to be sent to the di different distribution centers that Amazon has along United States and which are strategically located. If these products are, or let's say, overpass the capacity of those distribution centers, then Amazon will be in a problem. So with historic information, 
about how many products were offered by people through the fulfillment uh, tool last year they can they can see or or they can plan and they can make a strategy uh, according to that information and according to the to other macroeconomical factors that could of obviously um, affect the normal activity of the company they will know for example if they have to invest in another distribution center because the amount or yeah the amount of products will be um, bigger than what than what they can store in their different warehouses along United States so if they already have a plan and if they already know that if people uh, continue offering those products in the same rate per month let's say how many products they offer per month if they know that if people uh, continue offering these products in the same rate they will they will have to uh, acquire another distribution center they already know how much money they will have to spend how much how many people they will have to hire uh, how many stands or shelves they will have to buy also for the storage uh, the transportation in which in which extent is gonna be increased so in that way when it happens is uh, the company will be proactive will be prepared they are they will already have a, they will have a backup plan in case something like this happen and in that way uh, they can reduce the probability or being affected by by any change in the market so this is the the chapter number 10 chapter number 11 financial control is related to chapter number 10 why is that because the financial control is what managers apply in order to have a overlook an overview of of the whole company and to know if the different divisions in the case of amazon for example that ha that has to be break down in different division because it's a huge company and when you break down the company in division is easier to manage the company so they will know if they are aligned with the objectives and the goals and if they are really applying and uh, applying a, a good management or if they are allocating the resources in the best possible way and this is the best way for managers and leaders to have real information which is crucial for making decisions there are two kinds of financial control the internal control and the external control in the internal control is what managers overlook uh, within the company and the external control is what different institution, it could be governmental institution or for example financial institution like, ba like banks, they, they have this financial control over companies in order for example to lend money. So for example if the manager needs um, let's say two million dollars to acquire a new distribution center and to organize everything and to leave everything set for a start uh, working within this distribution center these financial institutions will uh, do an external control in order to see if the company will be able in a, in let's say one or two year whatever is the period of time in which the debt is going to be taken um, they will be able to repay the money that are, that they are borrowing.